once you eat a more plant-based diet and you have less biocarbonate being secreted, you have hairs in your digestive tract that they then can grab onto more food. So therefore you're absorbing more food or let's say you're absorbing more nutrition out of the food that you're eating. When you're on a carnivorous diet, it coats those, therefore it can pass through and only important nutrition can then be absorbed, also protecting you from pathogens and parasitic activity that might be going on in more carnivorous uh, foods or sources of energy, however you want to look at it. Because dairy and cheese, they come with their own set of bacteria as well. Every single food source, every single nutrition source has an up and a down. One of the biggest debates is what is more healthy, a carnivorous diet or a more plant-based diet. A carnivorous diet is going to fortify you in a different way, and a vegan diet is going to make you sensitive to be able to manage your own health internally in a different way. A vegetarian diet, most people still have cheese and dairy still opted in, and that is where kind of some of the troubles come in. Your body, as far as the nutrition that you're getting on the vegetable and fruit side or the vegetarian side, is detoxing your body, body and clearing it uh, from a lot of the gunk and uh, mucus membrane that the cheese and the dairy is making. If you're eating cheese and dairy as a lifestyle and you're keeping it in implemented in your vegetarian diet, your your health at some point is going to plateau and you're going to be at the same level that a carnivore would and their ups and downs trials and tribulations because the cheese is going to be more taxing on you because your interstitial fluid is cleaner your digestive tract is cleaner so the way the cheese can impact you or the way the dairy can impact you the way microbes can impact you is different than if you were more fortified naturally because your body's secreting certain enzymes and hormones your body's not secreting certain hormones and biocarbonate to protect against certain um more dense sources of nutrition the pink elephant is, is that on the lighter diets, your system is internally more clean. Your blood flow is better. Your uh, neuronal control is better. Things are getting better for you internally. However, external factors could have a greater impact on you. So carnivore versus diet is more about a uh, matter of perspective, how you're looking at it. The idea behind a carnivorous diet is that you're eating organic, raw sources of robust bacteria that those microbes can then help you fortify and create that or stimulate that uh, pancreas and biocarbonate secretion that's then going to coat you and then you can use more of that bacteria from the meat on the vegetarian side is the opposite direction you're clearing the system less biocarbonate less uh enzymes being injected therefore it's a lot easier for it to pass and your body absorb that nutrition no matter if you're a carnivore or a vegan you want to be on that winning side of your bioavailability you want to be a carnivore eating a, a robust amount of bacteria but you're not burning it off so now it's causing oxidative stress because you're having too much growth hormone pump to pump throughout your body and on a vegan side, you don't want to, you're going to, your body's going to detox and cleanse itself to a point that you're going to be more sensitive to things that you do put in it. So it's, it's very important that you become that much more cognitive and aware of the things that you do eat because now your body is absorbing much more nutrition than what it would if you eat more carnivorous sources.